Okay, so I've been uploading to Wirestock now for four months, and I honestly wish I could tell you guys it turned out to be what I was hoping it was going to be. Unfortunately, that is not the case. <laughs> So, my story with stock, stock photography, stock video, I started doing stock photography a long time ago and I kind of fell off doing that. So now we are here, find a video from this guy, um, the Fronos photo guy, if you guys know who I'm talking about. And Jared goes on about this new platform, Wirestock, that gives you easy submission and it has AI and human intelligence tagging your shots for you, making your life easy. You are supposed to be able to sell things to people yourself as well as they distribute your video clips and your pictures to different vendors online, different stock libraries. And it's supposed to make your life easy. And really, I'm just not happy with it. Mostly because the three of the four months that I've been doing this, it, it took that long for it to accept a lot of my clips and even some of them today are still pending. And there are some other things that I'm not happy with as well. So instead of just talking about them here in this windy, crappy condition, we're gonna go back to the house and I'm actually gonna show you why I'm not happy. So let's get out of this cold weather and head back to my place. All right, so. My kids are a little crazy today, playing in the room, so if you hear any screaming, no, I am not torturing anybody in a different room, it's just children. To get on to um, the things I don't like about Wirestock, that's what I'm talking about. First things first, it's not just Wirestock, it's all business today, it's driving me absolutely nuts. Now everybody is doing this, they're like, you get this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, sign up for free, but if you want any of the features that are actually worth it, you have to buy the top package, and now you have to pay a gazillion dollars a month. Wirestock is definitely guilty for that. They did offer, um, if you pay for the premium subscription, that you're gonna get uploads reviewed within two days. I don't think three months plus is, is acceptable, even for the free, and, and on top of that, why am I paying for a service that's supposed to be paying me? It's supposed to be um, AI and human meshed together, making sure that you get the best tag words and description for your uploads. <sighs> It's terrible. Well, let me show you why. And and we're gonna upload an image. So let's go upload, and we're just gonna pick a a random image. We get the choice between editorial. And I see it's telling me my resolution is too small because it's for Instagram, but that's all right. This is just purposes for this video. We have option for editorial, commercial. You have this easy submission. You can see if it's commercial. We can shut it off, turn it on. When we shut it off, we have to fill in all the keywords, the description, everything ourselves. Um, when we turn it on, it, it disables that. We literally just have to maybe write in uh, what it says, like add specific details, city, landmark, that kind of thing. What I'm just gonna say is Toronto. And that's as, as easy as supposed to be. It seems like this is what I want, right? You hit submit and it goes off and you're hoping that they're gonna review it, accept your image, and and you know do the description and the tagging and everything for you. When you come over to IM and do the same process, if I pop this in, say this image, right? It's gonna give me the same warning, it's not big enough because it's an Instagram. But look it, look it. It's already pulled up all of the automatic tags right here. Now, it still wants me to add the caption, right it's not gonna do that for me at the moment but it's already pulled up all these auto tags and and you get to actually see them and you can say add all 25 right now boom I like to do that right away add all 25 here's the other thing it's important when you're doing stock to make sure that your tags in your description description are relevant to the video or the images that you're uploading um, so that way you can go in here and be like you know what um, yeah, agriculture, environmental, conservation, um, that might not fit the bill because it's a farm, it's not conservation. 
you see where I'm going here, right? So this gives you selections right up front and you get to customize it the way you want. I like that. You don't get that on Wirestock. Now, let's move back over to Wirestock and look at some examples that I've already uploaded. So if we go to images or videos, it doesn't matter. And we go accepted and say we choose any photo here it's going to tell me um, the keywords what was tagged right um, and it does Barrie waterfront Ontario Canada it looks decent right it's got proper tag words but the thing is is there's no compound tag words there's no emotion tag words. You want to find anything that people might be searching for. And a lot of content creators and movie makers or whatever, they're going to be searching for emotions here. It's literally just tagging what's in the photo. Um, and, and so I want to get over to the video side because this is important. There's, I've seen a few of these. If we go over to accepted, right? And we go down to, here's an old one that was like forever ago. People, snow, winter, ice, nature, okay, mountain. That's not relevant. There's no mountain in this clip. Let me play it for you guys. It's just two people augering a hole, right? Um, where's mountain coming from? I don't know. Where's reflection coming from? I don't know, right? So those are irrelevant. I don't like the way it's tagged and I had no option to actually change that um, ahead of time. And now that it is accepted, it is what it is. So. The likelihood of somebody actually finding this um, for the purpose that they want. It, I had one, it, it was in Muskoka, a boat driving past a waterfall, um, drone shot by the way. Anyways, I, I, I put in the specific information that it was High Falls in Bracebridge, Ontario, Canada. And none of that was even tagged in the shot. It said Scandinavia. Like I don't know where they got that from, right? So irrelevant. So then again, you know, you go through the process, you upload it, takes like three months and you're sitting there wondering if they're like just hijacking your crap so that you would pay for the upgraded version. And then it finally is accepted and they do a terrible job tagging it. Not happy. <laughs> 500 pixels, I am and a lot of these other older um, photo websites have done a great job. They don't really review your pictures that quick on these sites either. But once you do have it set up and, and you've agreed with all the tags and you've done your caption or whatever, and when it's accepted with one of those partner libraries, they actually come back to you before it's finalized and say, do you want to update this information? Do you want to add things? And it gives you a second thought to actually put in other tags or remove tags, or and, and it even gives you a suggestion of a, a better description so like if they think that your description is not great they'll say here's what we suggest and you can actually use that or change it at that time I just really like that so here's another thing that I'm not liking about the platform they have this algorithm a machine algorithm checks out and sees that oh there's people in this so you have to have that model release and if you don't have one it's going to come up and say, no, this is only editorial. This is not a commercial shot. The legal rule is that if the person in the shot, in the photo, in the video or whatever is not recognizable, then you do not need a release. If I am flagged something as editorial only and the person in the image is not recognizable, they don't have any tattoos showing, they don't have anything that's specific to them that somebody's going to be like, hey, I know that person, um, you can actually rebuttal it before they send it out to their partners. You can say, no, this person isn't visible. And then they'll have an actual human look at it and say, okay, you're correct. We'll accept that. Wirestock does not have that. If you have a person in your video or your picture on Wirestock, you better have a release for it. And if there's like a hint of a tattoo showing, it doesn't even have to be visible. You have to have a release for that, your property release, because technically that tattoo is somebody else's property. Now I've made this comment and suggestion to Wirestock on um, their email, which by the way, took like a month for them to get back to me. And then when they finally did get back to me, they said to me, it doesn't really matter. The pay is the same. No, that's not true. 
Like, I don't know what kind of deal they have with these other partners or whatever, but if you're uploading anything to any kind of stock library, your commercial clips are worth a lot more than your editorial clips. So for them to come back to me and say, ah, it's not a big deal, just upload it as editorial, I was really upset by that. They're, they're fl flat out blowing smoke up your shorts. So yeah, those are the things I don't like, or at least that I can think of right now. So there's one called Black Box, which I also really like. The great thing about Black Box is it allows you to work with people. You can have a model, say, if you're gonna be making um, staged videos or pictures, and you can work with those models and set them up with an account and choose to do a 60-40 kind of thing or a 50-50, however you want to do it. But you can also get um, contributors, people that tag and do the descriptions and everything for you. I think they call it a curator. If you're wondering what I'm going to be doing next, if I'm moving platforms or whatnot, because I, I do have a three-year goal to contribute daily to some kind of stock platform. I'm actually staying with Wirestock. There's three reasons why. One, I, I still want to be consistent in something. Two, I love that they have an uploader button. I do not like FTP. I hate FTP. Matter of fact, like I just have nothing pro but problems with FTP for some strange reason. I love that I can just click upload, select a bunch of files, and it does it. Third reason, it's the only platform that I can find that does photo and video and also sends it out to multiple platforms. Am I gonna upgrade to their, their top package no i don't feel like that easy submission button should be something that you pay for or the quick review should not be something that you pay for i think that you know it's okay to ask to pay for somebody to have their own portfolio site or page that you can sell at your own price and cost that makes sense but the thing is is i think i would rather do that on my own website than with them if you're any kind of professional that's doing anything outside of stock you're gonna need your own website anyways so now you're paying for a website and you're paying for wire stock and you're paying for Adobe and all the other jazz I won't be using the sub easy submission button I'm just gonna be tagging these myself doing a few every day and just staying consistent for the next three years again I will be making more updates in the future also I just want to ask you guys if you have any suggestions if there is like I've done a lot of searching of the internet to find a competitor of Wirestock that does photo and video to send out to multiple platforms. If you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section below. Not just me, everybody would probably like to know. Um, so yeah, if you find something cool, thank you. Peace.